In this video, I'm gonna show you guys where to download and how to install and how to use completely the Armory Crate for the Asus ROG Strix Scope TKL Electropunk Keyboard. I'm gonna show you everything from setting up different key configurations, playing it in game, how it reacts in games, and then, you know, just how to set up everything. So stick around, I'm gonna show you in this video. All right, so I'm going to leave for the last part how to download and where to find the software. But for the first part, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the software and then go from there. All right, so starting up the software, we're on the settings, on the general tab, and the landing page last open, you could change it to whichever you prefer, but I've left it at default for now. We can go to update center, check for updates. In the later part of this video, I showed you how to do the update for this, so I'll leave that for the last part. Okay, and then over here shows the app version and all that good stuff here diagnostics i'm gonna go ahead and check that for now that way in case there's something wrong i know what's going on okay so coming down over here to device we can go under rog strict scope tkl electro punk device synchronization with rsync unsync this device before changing any settings so let's go ahead unsync Okay, so keys. If you remember, we can set up macros for any and every single key here. So if I wanted to set up a, let's say, a macro for, let's say, the letter F, right? And we'll go here under default, and then we'll select what we want that macro to do. So preset input text, keyboard function, mouse function, launch an application, open a website, multimedia, window shortcut, or disable it. So we're going to do a preset input text, set input text to be assigned to the function. So for here, I'm just going to do, hi, my name is Iggy with this bytes for for you and well i can't use the f because it's a function key probably a bad example but anyway a good way for me to show you how it works all right cool that's what i want to use and now i just click away and it's set so right now if i click start i open up notepad and i press function f it just pastes that right on there so function F and we can do it as many times as we want and it'll just keep pasting that text. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close this out. Don't change. Since F is a key that we're going to be using on, probably on a normal basis, we'll just go over here and select reset. Are you sure you wanna reset the buttons to default settings? Okay, I don't wanna leave that because obviously I need it. And now we're not only set to do that one single function. As I showed you earlier, we can come over here, do anything down here. So that's pretty cool. All right. So then coming over here to lighting, we can see that right now we're under breathing and you can see how the keyboard breathes the color on and off. And then we can set the brightness right over here. 175, 50, 25 or zero. I don't know why you want to breathe zero, but anyway, <laughs> and then, you know, we can change the speed of the breathing. I kind of like that one. And then coming over here to double, we can set what we want it to breathe to. So from red to pink, and we can click any one of these two, and I'll do it from red to green. Okay, and you know, if you want to change the red, you can change the red to a blue. All right, so you can select there, again, normal or slow, and then we can go to random. So obviously it's gonna go randomly through every single color. We'll go to static. If you want it to be one color all the time, you could do that. We can do yellow, we can do any single color and just rotate around here and then fine tuning it to whatever color we want there. 
coming over to color cycle can have it slowly go through all of the colors actually I kind of like this one as I'm going through I'm probably gonna kind of like all of them so it's going to go through every single color cycling through again speed and LED brightness you can change under rainbow you can select what you want your rainbow pattern to be again the LED brightness and the speed reactive this one is kind of cool so right now it's dead right so you could see every single key you hit is going to react and if you want to set it double so you might be able to see that there it's going red alternating between red and that kind of purple pink color there and then you have random I probably prefer this one out of the reactive that as you press keys it's just rainbow cycling through them so that's kind of cool and then we have ripple I like this one this one is awesome so we go F and it's kind of like a ripple you know in water you drop a coin or you drop a rock bloop it's gonna radiate outward so that is kind of cool as you're typing and then we have starry night that one is kind of relaxing just randomly going through all let's see no nothing as you type it it's randomly going through all of the different letters and then we see background is off so we could put that to single and then you could see the background is that pink color and then individually any single key is just going to dim out and then dim back in and then go to the next key that is kind of cool kind of like a ghost writer there and right now it's set under single we can do double you can see how it also does it down here as well which if I didn't mention it's not only the keys that are lit but down here as well to give it that ambient glow right down here under the keyboard and then of course we can set the effect to double and then we can do random it's kind of cool it kind of looks like somebody's typing there for you all right then we'll go to quicksand looks like it kind of ripples from right up here and then radiates outwards towards the keyboard and then we can do random that was pattern this is random and then as always LED brightness and speed now the R creator which is that extra tool that we downloaded afterwards if you don't have it downloaded it's going to want you to download off of the Microsoft Store so what we'll do is we'll just go back into downloads and creator installer now I believe we're gonna have to turn this off but I'll go ahead and do that ROG life service setup so if you didn't see it went back to the armory crate the prerequisite services are installed please download our creator from the Microsoft Store to complete the installation okay so we will actually need it from the Microsoft Store so get now we're downloading it and it got installed all right so we'll go ahead and just close this out now we'll go back into the armory oops well We'll go to the armor creator then accept welcome to our creator next this will just teach you a bunch of different things on the our creator vice piece and component this is pretty cool i actually may need to do a separate video on the our creator so I'll close out of there because this video is on the armory crate so coming back over here 
here we can select, we can create macros. A lot of you have asked me in uh, different videos for different software, how do I do this? How do I do that in a game? And then this is the perfect example of how you can make something in a game. So for example, let's go ahead and click record. So I'm gonna go forward for a little while and then let go and then shoot, shoot, shoot 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 jump shoot 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 okay so stop so i've created that macro and let's go ahead and save that now here we can insert either different actions or different times or different anything durations as we choose okay so that's called macro one so if we come over here to rog strix electroscope tkl electropunk now, if we wanted to, let's go ahead, click ints, click default here, and we'll select macro, select the macro we want. We want macro number one. Okay, so let's load up a game real quick and see how that works. All right, so in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we just hit ints. All right, so you see how it did everything. Now, mind you, I was just randomly typing different things when uh, I was doing the macro. So I didn't have a game in mind. So let's go ahead, jump out of here. But I'm sure you can see how that is pretty awesome. Okay, so then coming over here to Aura Sync, we have not paired up the ROG Strict Scope TKL here. So we'll just add it right in there as well. Okay, so now it's the Aura Sync is tied into the keyboard and to the memory. Now the memory is Patriot Viper memory and it has nothing to do with Asus, but it will work in here as well. As long as you don't use two separate RGB softwares together, then we can go here under Aura Effect. So you've already seen the keyboard, how that works with the Aura Sync and the effect. So now let me change the camera angle a little bit. Now I have you at a perfect angle. I can show you the keyboard and the memory. So right now we're still in the rainbow, which is actually my favorite effect for the memory. But now if I wanted to, we can do static. You can see how the memory and the keyboard both changed to a static color. We can do breathing, it'll breathe red. And then, you know, we can go through the entire gamut of tools that they provided all keeping everything in sync i think that's pretty awesome all right so coming back to the armory crate we'll go under game library okay so then here your game library find the list of games okay so these are all the games that i have installed on this machine this is my benchmark machine and my game testing machine. So then over here, you remember we created the macro. Now we can do, we can create a scenario profile for Far Cry 5. We'll do, shows here the connected device configuration, the app configuration, br the breathing. Now it's going to change, you know, we start up the game. It's going to change whatever we want the Aura Sync to be. And then over here, select apps to link, Far Cry 5. If we wanted to add more, you could. And then it's going to go ahead and clear the cache. So we'll go ahead, oh, it was off before I clicked it to go ahead and enable that. And then, so we'll change it now from breathing sync to strobing color cycle, rainbow, starry night. We'll do starry night because since it is different from this, okay? So now what we'll do is, Go back over here to the game library and let's go ahead and play some Far Cry 5 real quick. Nothing too long. Okay, you could see starting Far Cry 5, it's changed this to the starry night. And let me go ahead, manually move the camera. It's also changed the memory to starry night. Pretty cool, right? So 
So now that we see the way that works, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of the game. All right, so coming back in here to the Armory Crate game library, we'll go ahead and click Scenario Profiles. And actually, that's just where we were. Okay. And then we can go back to Profile 1, which is what we were on originally. And then come over here to Featured. And that's going to go over all these game deals and all that good stuff over here. And then we'll come over here to News. And that's going to give us a bunch of Asus ROG or different Asus articles of news. Over here, this is from my user center or my user account, which actually I don't have one yet. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, actually I did have one and this kind of goes to show under my profile and my products, some of the older stuff I had, forgot about it. Notifications and then right down here, we're back where we were when we first started under general, update center and about. All right, so now I've shown you how to use the software. For those of you that don't know how to find or install the software, I'm gonna show you right now. For those of you that already know how to do all this, stick around to the very end. I got something a little special for you all, but I'm not gonna come out and say it. You're gonna have to guess on this one. All right, so first we're going to come to this Asus website and then over here, click on support, then drivers and tools. All right, when this page loads, we'll scroll down a little bit. We'll select the OS, Windows 10, 64-bit, and then right here, utilities, armory crate. There's also see all downloads. I'll click on that just in case. Okay, so this is the Aura Creator Installer as well, the advanced Aura Effect Editor. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and download this one, and then we'll go ahead and download this one as well. So we'll just go to the Armory Crate Installer. We'll do the Armory Crate Installer tool first, so we'll just right click on it. And I have 7-Zip installed. So I'll just go ahead and extract that one and I might as well extract this one while I'm at it. Okay, so then we'll go to the install tool, double click on it, and then create app, download and install. Okay, so then read through this privacy policy and I agree, end user license agreement, accept. So again, in this video, we went over kind of in detail, not only how to install the Armory Crate, but then how to use it on the Asus ROG Strix Electropunk TKL keyboard, mechanical keyboard, the gaming keyboard, I should say. Now, so far, this has been a pretty awesome keyboard. It's got a ton of features that to me, you know, I haven't used one of those kind of keyboards in a while, but to me, it's pretty awesome. Kind of weird though, that I have this box and then that box up there. I wonder what that means, right? Stay tuned. You'll find out what it means. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching this video. You're going to see a lot more from me on this keyboard coming soon. So stick around. Yeah, see you guys.